sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow sighs. When we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day! What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all, when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of Him in glory will the toils of life repay. Onward to the prize before us, soon His beauty will behold. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day, what a day of rejoicing, rejoicing that will be. When we, all, when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout and shout the victory. Hi, and welcome to Verse of the Day. I'm Brandon Hathaway, the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we once more open up the Word and study it, starting our day off, or as you might be looking at this in the middle of the day or in the evening before you go to bed, uh, whatever time it is that we are taking our time to study the Word of God. And it's always encouraging as I uh, come back and see uh, the different views, how many views there are uh, of the video, and so it's uh, encouraging as I do this and see people on there as I'm doing this live. Um, so I thank you, and I uh, hope that you have a good day. Um, today is Sunday, um, so I, I hope that you've already made some plans to uh, attend worship, uh, to uh, be able to, to gather together with brothers and sisters in Christ, to be able to sing and uh, admonish and teaching one another and to uh, uplift one another, to stir up love and good works, and of course to glorify God and uh, to remember his sacrifice during the Lord's Supper. So if you are in the Owensboro area, we want to welcome you to come and join us as we gather together to worship. We meet at 1030 there at the building. Um, there is uh, room for you to come inside uh, to sit down with us. Um, if you are weary about being inside of the building and uh, don't feel like uh, you know uh, you're comfortable with that due to the virus and stuff, then uh, there's a uh, small group that sits outside still. And there's, of course, we uh, make the opportunity available to hear the lesson over Facebook. So, um, and anyway, I hope that you you take the time to make sure you uh, properly in the right mindset. Uh, observe the Lord's Supper and the sacrifice that He has given you, and the best ability to uh, be with your brethren and to stir up that love and good works. Uh, for our verse of the day, if you want to go ahead and open up your Bibles, we're going to be looking at Psalm verse two, Psalm chapter two, not verse two, <laughs> Psalm two, the second Psalm. Uh, say it a little different with the the Psalms um, uh, than you do. Uh, other books in the Word of God, but uh, we're going to look at the whole psalm here. Uh, it's not very long. Lyndon, no, no. So I might be jumping up to, to stop the little guy from doing something, So, uh, but I'll apologize in advance. So Psalm 2. Here it reads, it says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, 
Let us break their bonds in peace and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them his trap and distress, and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree to the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations in your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a wrought iron. You shall dash them to pieces like potter's vessel. Now, therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, let he be angry, and you perish in the way when his wrath be kindled. But little blessed are those who trust in him. Oh, all right. I see what I did there. So if I looked confused while I was reading that, because I was, I uh, had opened up my Bible and saw Psalm 1, Psalm 2. And I guess in uh, my Bible, I was reading Psalm 3, and then I uh, uh, thought I was reading Psalm 2, and I threw Psalm 2 up there. So what I had prepared to talk about was Psalm 2 and not Psalm 3. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, I guess I should have read over after I had uh, copied and pasted into the PowerPoint here. Um, but uh, so as we do read through this, we'll go ahead and talk about Psalm, th Psalm 2 instead of Psalm 3. That I had read on my own. Um, as it, again, uh, I believe uh, similar points are being brought out here. And the first part of the section, verses 1 through 3, it, he goes forth and talks about why do the nations rage and the people plot vain things. Here they are trying to destroy and separate the king's relationship with the Lord and, of course, separate them from their ways. And the fact that they don't want to deal with that, they, they don't want because the strength. That they have together and it's the same point for us today that we have strength when we are with the Lord we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us but when people separate us from God when they separate us from our brethren in Christ we become weaker because we become on our own we, we lack that faith we lack uh, the drive and the push and, and the hope that we have for an eternal home and so they, they try to destroy that and then you get to verses 4 through 6 here, the, the separations that you can see that, that they've already kind of put in there for us to help us out. Um, he who sits in heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall hold them in derision. Uh, then he shall speak in his wrath, distress and deep displeasure. And so here, here the Lord looking down on them, um, verses 7 through 9 there, as uh, the Lord says here, um, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. Um, he, he's there. He's going to protect us. He, he's going to continue to be there for him. Uh, he, he's going to be there to, to, to give us. Uh, and again, we're not going to overtake this world. And of course, we, we know as we open up our Bible that, that our homes are in heaven. And that's where our hearts should be. So, so we shouldn't be looking at a physical kingdom as the Jews and the um continuously did and even uh, the apostles as the Lord lived their life upon this earth his life upon this earth that they uh, continued had a mind focus on that um, the end of this uh, psalm here psalm 2 uh, now therefore be wise O king be instructed you judges of earth serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling kiss the son lest he be angry and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Um, just reading this, it sounds like a, a lot of prophecy. They're uh, speaking of, of course, our, our Lord, uh, the Son, um, and, and how it all needs to bow down to him, all needs to, to follow him, um, to trust him. And, of course, but lest we set up his wrath against us, um, leaders uh, of the nation, leaders of anything, need to make sure that they're ruling correctly as it kind of gets in there in that verse 10 be instructed you judges of earth be wise O kings serve the Lord with fear um, again you know we, we often sway away from the fear of the Lord 
and uh, forget that, that there is things to fear, to fear his wrath, to fear his punishment, to fear eternal life in hell. And so we, we do have that part of fear, but hopefully if you've obeyed the gospel, then that fear has been wiped away through love, as we could read about in First John chapter um, chapter 2, I believe. And um, so, again, I'll apologize uh, for uh, not being more prepared. I uh, had read over Psalm 2, and uh, or Psalm 3, and when I was looking at the, the way it was listed there, I thought I was reading Psalm 2, and so I typed up Psalm 2 and copied and pasted into my PowerPoint so I didn't have to type all that up. Um, and so I, I wasn't as prepared as I uh, usually am to, to go over this and I apologize for that but I hope that I've helped you and if you have any further questions I'd be more than happy to, to study that with you um, to continue to uh, look into it further. Um, otherwise I hope you have a good day. I hope that you uh, have a good Lord's Day and, and remembering his sacrifice and being gathered together with brothers and sisters in Christ. And again, please feel free to join us as we gather together at Westside Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. Thank you for joining me, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.